Let's go ahead and take a look at a project that you might be wondering about as prices for lumber increases, and that's whether or not you can eliminate a center stringer or even more than one center stringers, especially on wider stairways. Now, the first thing I want to point out about a two stringer stairway is that you might need larger lumber, and this would include the stair stringers, the risers, and the treads. And if that's the case, you might consider using an unnotched stair stringer with brackets or even slots cut in for the stair treads to slide into. And I do have books about both types of stairway assembly at our website. So the assembly for something like this isn't too difficult. You're going to fasten everything together the same way, except you're going to be using nails or screws to connect the bottom of the riser to the back of the tread. This is going to prevent the tread from moving and quite possibly could allow you to use smaller lumber there. Keep in mind that they have been building stairs with three quarter inch lumber for centuries now with this method and stair stringers spaced between 24 and 36 inches apart. And in my opinion, I like the tried and true method, so I'm going to choose this one here as the winner because I have seen them used successfully over time with very few problems. Now, the one that I mentioned about the three quarter inch thick solid lumber treads and risers might not always fall into that category.